In the first Ghostbusters films, fans, they are introduced to Gozer the Gozerian, an interdimensional malignant entity who can take on a chosen form, appearing first as a woman, followed by the in-series food mascot, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Throughout the years, Gozer would go on to be featured in a variety of other projects, including a re-manifestation in 2009's Ghostbusters the Video Game, story arcs within the IDW's comic series, and most notably a full-on return in last year's Ghostbusters Afterlife. And in Afterlife, Gozer again assumes the form of a woman. And while similar to that of 1984, the design was undoubtedly swayed by advancements seen within special effects. Artist Paolo Giandoso, who worked as a concept artist on Afterlife, just uploaded a handful of new pieces from his time working on the film. And this does include Gozer's Grand Return, with one idea seen here has the Sumerian god covered in an ectoplasmic shroud. And I mean, come on, that is one way to make an appearance. If you've seen Afterlife, which if you're watching this YouTube channel, I really hope you have, you know at one point Gozer's powers are severely weakened, causing it to begin to seemingly wither away. Giandoso played around with this idea, leading to an end result that almost appears like a callback to the library ghost transformation seen in the opening of the 1984 film. Of course, in the movie, Gozer does meet its eventual demise. And for this scene, Giandoso proposed that Gozer may begin to lose its chosen appearance, and in turn actually reveal a true form, if Gozer's true form like even exists. After all, in that first movie, Egon mentions that Gozer is whatever it wants to be. But uh, yeah, this art is something else. I mean, if I saw this when I was a kid in the first Ghostbusters film, I would have likely had nightmares for weeks, months, years. Heck, it would likely still haunt me. Now, over the past week, we featured other Ghostbusters Afterlife concept art from Giodoso, including an early take on the metal-devouring newcomer Muncher and a possessed fire dog mascot with a rather tortured past. For additional Ghostbusters Afterlife early concept designs from Giodoso, be sure to check out his art station profile. We got a link to it down below in the description. That's all I've got for you here right now. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in the description. And I'll see you right back here next time.